quick video of our walk-in cooler we just finished up still need to go back and put paneling on the walls clean it up a little bit but we've got the wall air conditioner in here we've got it's controlled by two aquarium tank heat controllers this one here is reading the temperature of the fins making sure that it doesn't freeze so if that hits 32 degrees this will shut off this is plugged into this one so this will shut this off this one is controlling the temperature of the room so we've got a probe up here tells the temperature so right now the temperature in the room 37.5 degrees so I think I've got this one set right now to fluctuate between like 36 and 42 degrees or something like that so this will when this hits 42 degrees when this hits its high temperature this will turn on power it'll start say cooling this will run power to this what it is this is a light bulb the light bulb is aluminum foiled to the sensor that is an originally supposed to control the temperature of the air conditioner the this will set off this will shut off when this is reading whatever temperature this is set at so essentially you're hijacking this sensor with a light bulb making this sensor think that it's actually 70 degrees or whatever and so it tells the air conditioner to blow cold air so you can see this one, this is still going down. The fins are at 32.9 degrees. Starting to build up just a little bit of frost. Air temperature in the room, 36.6, 36.3. So there, just went the compressor. The compressor shut off. So now the fan is still on. And the fan is defrosting itself as it continues to run so I didn't even have to I saw a couple guys on YouTube that were getting I don't know exactly what they were buying but they were cutting into the wiring harness of the air conditioning unit and separating the condenser from the fan so that this controller would only shut off and turn on the compressor well that's not necessary because in tricking this the fan is going to stay on on this air conditioner just like it would in your house it, it, it doesn't shut off all the way I don't know if they're all like that or if that's the setting but that's how it is on this one anyway it's just going to continue running that fan so that's just going to aid it running air across those uh, fins and having it um, defrost itself so at the end of the day uh, all we needed was two I think this one was $15 and this one was $30. I don't know. This one's more of a Chinese one. This one is more of a name brand Inkbird um, controller. But that's all we needed. Two controllers, a light bulb, um, and that an air conditioner. That's it. And you, you can make a, a walk-in cooler. I think the lowest we had this, it was too cold. I think we had it down to 32 degrees in here so now we're just working on dialing it in getting the right temperature you can see it's starting since it's turned off it's going back up in here a little bit 37.4 so when that hits its high temperature it's going to turn this light bulb back on the air conditioner is going to think it's warmer in here than it is and start blowing cold air again keep blowing cold air until it hits its low temperature again or until it gets ice so this worked out pretty good we're still testing it I got some green beans in here that's it so far but right there keeping it below 40 degrees <laughs>